my mother is an ex-nun, and my father is an ex-Franciscan brother, so I grew up admiring Jesus the way anybody admires mom's first husband, but I've come to view Jesus in much the way I've come to view Elvis. I love the guy, the fan clubs scare me. And I'm glad we're talking about Jesus and the GOP candidates today because we hear them all talking about Jesus all the time. They invoke his name incessantly. He's like a mascot holding pom-poms on the sidelines. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if we could find a way to get Jesus of Nazareth to come back and run for president on the GOP ticket? They can't pick a front runner anyway. So wouldn't the GOP love to get behind a guy who was a peaceful, radical, nonviolent revolutionary who hung around with lepers, hookers, and criminals, who never spoke English, was not an American citizen, a man who was anti capitalism, anti-wealth, anti-public prayer, yes he was, Matthew 6, 5, anti-death penalty, but never once remotely anti-gay, didn't mention abortion, didn't mention premarital sex, a man who never justified torture, who never called the poor lazy, who never asked a leper for a co-pay, who never fought for tax cuts for the wealthiest Nazarenes, and was a long-haired, brown-skinned, that's in Revelations, homeless Middle Eastern Jew. <laughs> of course, that's only if you believe what's actually in the Bible.